Some people aboard this boat had to be rescued as it erupts in flames earlier today, but that was only the start of what could have been a much larger tragedy. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Logan. Thanks for joining us. A scary moment for sure. Luckily, everyone was rescued, but that boat posed a serious problem to the sound. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in the New Haven newsroom with more. Josh? Aaron, one person is in the hospital tonight being treated for third degree burns. He was among at least three Connecticut shell fishermen lucky to be alive tonight because early this afternoon their commercial vessel burst into flames off the coast of Milford. The bond between fishermen is tighter than a knot of rope. To see why, just talk to Kevin Jones. Catch a lot of clams, make some money. <laughs> A young deckhand. It's a workout. He may be what some would call the low man on the totem pole. It's not fun at that moment in time, but you know, I'm grateful for being able to be out here every day. But what he did early Saturday afternoon. It, it happened very fast. Was an act so noble, you might have thought he was a boat captain. Sorry, the captain got hurt. Because Kevin was one of several fishermen who helped save the lives of three people on board a fellow fishing vessel that was on fire. It was engulfed in flames. Who instead of running in the face of danger. It was, it was a pretty scary sight to see. Jumped into action. We got there first. Helping to put out the inferno before emergency responders could arrive. I ran as a cat. Boat's on fire, let's go. Pull the dredge up, slam it on the deck, and we just hauled over there and start getting water on it and knock it down. But as you'll see, Kevin's day didn't end there. I got Mike and... Mike's calling? Shortly after our interview ended, his boss... Call the Coast Guard right now on 16. Right, Captain Gary Salsi arrived with a new mission. Tell him you got a sinking boat. Get what's left of the ship loaded with 400 gallons of diesel fuel out of the water. Tell him it's not just about a boat now. It's about, it's about major oyster and clam grounds off of Milford. So as quickly as you've ever seen a commercial fishing vehicle move. We got a point at that, that unit there. They rushed to rendezvous with the burnt out hull. I'm heading out there with the cultivator now. And helped clear the way. As another one of Captain Gary's boats towed the sinking ship into a Stratford Harbor. I got a boat standing by out there. If the ship had sunk, it could have been disastrous. We got to bring it up to the dock. They're going to haul it right out of the water. But thanks to the quick thinking of some Connecticut fishermen. Have you ever seen anything like this happen? We take it pretty seriously. No, I haven't. At least one catastrophe was avoided. It makes you thankful for, for what you have because it can go up and smoke. It's not known at this time how the inferno was sparked, but those who spoke with the crew members on board the burning ship say it's their belief it was a malfunction with the generator. In the New Haven newsroom, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.